Our dear doctors around the globe, lovely greetings from Rami Cardio Club. Today we have a super interesting clinical scenario which is very high yield in your exams. Either you are an undergraduate, postgraduate preparing for MRCP, USMLE, PLAP, AMC, MCCEE or any kind of exam, you may have this clinical case. So let's start together. We have here Ms. X, 27 years old lady. She is pregnant in 10 weeks. And she has hypothyroidism on levothyroxine 100 micrograms per day. She has puffy eyes, lower limb edema, somnolence, and appetite problems. Her vital data, chest, heart, and abdominal examination are all within normal limits, except for heart rate 54 beats per minute, which is a little bit lower than normal. Her doctor requested for kidney function, urinalysis, and urine chemistry, which came up all with normal results. So her edema and clinical signs and symptoms are not due to kidney dysfunction. Most probably, I guess it is due to thyroid dysfunction. Her thyroid uh, is not well controlled. Regarding her levothyroxine dose, what is your next step? Do you think I may keep the thyroxine uh, on the same dose? I think no. Increase to 125 micrograms per day? Maybe. Increase to 150 micrograms per day? <laughs> Maybe. Decrease to 75 micrograms per day? Do you think I will decrease it with these clinical findings? Of course not. So, what do you think? Mm. Yes, correct. I can hear you. The correct answer is 3. Increase to 150 micrograms per day. So the question now is, why? I tell you. Basically, thyroxine is present in the blood in two forms. Form A, form B. Form A is a bound part which is carried by the carrier proteins in the plasma. And another part, which is form P, which is free active part, running in the blood, not carried by any means. So we have these two forms. Pregnancy hormones, estrogen progesterone, increases the serum binding proteins, which may cause increase in the bound inactive thyroxine. The bound form of thyroxine is inactive, not causing anything. But the free active is free and active, not bound, and it's active. So when you increase the plasma proteins, you will increase the bound inactive thyroxine, and the free active part will decrease. So the thyroxine requirements is basically increased during pregnancy and it's interesting that thyroxine requirements increases 50 percent during first trimester and another five percent increase is, is expected in the second and third trimester so the correct answer was three my beloved doctors i wish you the best of luck see you in other videos. Bye.